Okay, as promised, we are back in the shop and we are going to video blog this little blue Isetta that we have on the rack here. This is a car that I'm pretty familiar with. Although I will say I am familiar with Isettas, this one's a little different. I don't know that you can readily pick out the differences, but the hint is taillights. See how high they are? US export version Isettas had taillights right here. These are British built uh, accessories. This is a British built Isetta. This license plate light, these taillights being high and not here on smaller pods. The bumpers are different. The braking system is way different, way, way different. It has Lucas Electrics. Uh, quite a bit of differences, but yet I don't think anybody that's not in the Isetta realm would know. So we're gonna take a look at this car. It's here for um, some work. It doesn't run. I mean, it's nice, it's beautiful. It runs a little bit, but it's not drivable and the brakes are locked up and supposedly it's just been restored. Um, but I've got to go through and take care of the finer points. And that's what I'm good at. You can see just by me pressing on the wheel, the wheel is completely locked. Not locked completely, but it won't roll. The thing only has 13 horsepower. You can't expect it to overcome drag like that. And if you look at the play in the steering, I don't know if you can see this or not. My camera will show that. There's that much play in the steering. Can you tell me maybe what's wrong? Anybody notice that? <laughs> steering box is coming apart. That's pretty crazy. This car does have a beautiful uh, seat, which I believe is original. Um, what do they call it? Tarpon? Something like that? Tar Tartan, tartan seat, beautiful new door panels, a new sunroof, all new paint. It does not have the vents, it has different bumpers on the front, no bumper across the door, uh, different horn. I'll toot it for you. Real high pitched. Uh, a lot of differences being a British built. Uh, the master cylinder. <laughs> is totally different uh, and I'm sure I'll find more but uh, we're gonna do a little inspection and see what this thing really needs oh the rear is locked up it doesn't roll how can anybody drive a car like this but everything is new and I'm sure it was meant to be right it just needs some some final touches Everything's pretty nice under here it looks really really great um, okay well I'm gonna get to work um, on making this car more usable, but I just wanted to show you some of the specifics on the differences between a regular US export Isetta and a Canadian built or British built model. That's what this is. Um, and I'll probably do another couple videos on it as I always do, but thanks for watching and uh, maybe we'll see this little guy putting around soon. Thank you. See ya. Have a great day.